I first met Cliff at Chef and Eight um, 2013 in Birmingham. Um, we got to know each other on Twitter and it was one of those meetings that just sort of, honestly, we got on like a house on fire. Um, He was just so very generous. Um, on the Sunday of the convention, um, his meet and greet was cancelled, so I sent him a text, uh, well, a DM on Twitter, um, asking him if he wanted to come and have a drink. Which isn't like me, I'm very shy. Um, but he agreed, and we sat in the bar for 40 minutes talking about absolutely nothing. And it was honestly it's just, it was like meeting an old friend again after years apart rather than somebody that was really a stranger. And after that, you know, I, I got up and I put my hand out um, to shake his hand all professional like, you know, I'm just, and he just looked at me and he put his arms out. And honestly, he gave the best hugs. I mean, it's like, um, and then I didn't see him again for five years. I mean, we were in contact on online, um, through Facebook and on Twitter and email occasionally, um, and that that was that was special, and that was the first Kalmar, um. Six weeks after that, um, my husband had a stroke and I let Cliff know and over the next few weeks and then months he would DM me on Twitter and ask how things were going. And then last month when we had the first Zoom meeting through the Jemmy app, his, his brand new fan group, which sadly has ended almost as soon as it begun. Um, yeah, it was the first thing he asked me, how's your man doing? And that is just, that was him all over. I just had so much time for everybody. He was just generous and kind and I loved him to bits. And I am broken that I have lost one of my dearest, dearest friends. <sighs> I'll be careful.